I am Hector Miguel Gonzalez, and this is HP Sports. Today, we will be prepared for the big game. And for the big game, we put one of our best on the job, Stephen the Puppet Smith. Uh, I think we have him now. Let's go out to him. Hey, Steven, how are you today? You're looking pretty dapper, as I must say. Uh, can you give us the keys to victory uh, for tonight's game? And who are the key players to watch out for tonight? Well, I was, I was listening to your auditory programming less than a mere 24 hours ago, and as you guess, Cavalcade of Basketball Minds was enlightening the audience in a myriad and assortment of anecdotal, analytical, and empirical evidence. I was in agreement and disagreement to varying degrees, especially with Tom Thibodeau's pronunciation of his name yesterday. If it's actually said with the TH, then I'm calling him Thomas Thibodeau from... I have to say that without a doubt, and we all know this on one level or another, whether you're prepared to admit it to yourself, you're one of the 27 yeah. past and current coaches and players you had in your studio yesterday, or even just a Twitter troll, that there's one player who is standing far oh, and above Steve? and beyond all others in this NBA final series, a man who is more than just a man, and a being who is single-handedly determining this series with a level of play we've not seen before at this juncture in the NBA postseason, the king of all kings, but still a man who relates to the people of this fine city, calls this place home, connects with them on a street level in a way most uh -huh. NBA superstars uh -huh. could never bond yeah, with a yeah, group yeah, of fanatics. Of course I'm talking about Matthew Della Vadova <laughs> is ready for the limelight and will continue to dominate this series as he did, even with his musculatory system lacking the proper hydration and lubrication necessary to sustain the highest level of athleticism a professional athlete needs to compete with utmost efficiency. By the way, as a side note to the middle of this digression, the human body is essentially 75% water, and I have first-hand knowledge that Matthew Delavadova, by the end of the fourth quarter Tuesday night, was actually down to negative three. And when I say I have first-hand knowledge, I mean I'm obviously making this personal medical statistic up. Negative three percent isn't possible. I did not consult what WebMD for this, unless Web stands for the, uh, the Web of Untruths, and MD stands for Matthew Della Vadova. <laughs> now, off on a tangent, in the middle of this digression side note, not even the Ronco 5 tray food hydrator, dehydrator, could pull off such a feat, yet Delva, Della Televanova, as they call him in various Latin American countries, is up to the task, even if it's a fictitious task. And before I go, I would re be remiss to not acknowledge Cleveland's other star. Timothy Miles Golf. <laughs> Timothy! I, I love this. Not only do the Russians, like the French, apparently not have the TH pronunciation. They've eliminated the TH digraph altogether. And no, it's not a diphthong. That's a combination of vowels. So in Russia, we'd have Matthew Della Vadova. I well, thank you, Stephen, the puppet Smith, for your long winded ology insight to the nice game. We will be getting back to you after the game to see if your uh, prognostications are correct. Wow, Stephen the Puppet Smith can really go at it. Anyway, I'm Hector Miguel Gonzalez, and you have been watching HP Sports. Good night, everyone. Situation got me pacing the floor, waging a mental war like so many times before. Some feelings can't be ignored. We want more. Looking at the front door, the hidden chambers must be explored. Transform, take another form, the light body.